Hello everyone, this is Mishka from The Language of Success. Today I'm responding to a question from a viewer who is asking what should we do if we don't want to use the pronoun you uh, in addressing a supervisor or in addressing a co-worker fearing that the situation might escalate if we use uh, that pronoun. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the viewer. This is really a great question and an opportunity to explore further what can we do to use the language to succeed in the workplace. Rather than using the pronoun you, I would highly recommend referencing the action versus referencing who did it. So, uh, for example, rather than tell the supervisor, you told me that I should submit a draft. You did not specify that it should be the final draft. You can simply say to your supervisor, so from now on, what should I do each time I'm asked to submit a draft? Shall I always assume that it should be the final draft? then allow the supervisor to answer. You can follow up with a question. Uh, how do I leave room for comment and feedback? And so on and so forth. So uh, reference the work, reference the action, not who did it. Second, make it conversational make it conversational with the supervisor. When it's conversational, the supervisor will elaborate. If it's accusative, if you say, you told me, then the supervisor will be on the defense side of things. Plus, I assure you, he will take it against you. But if you make it conversational, back and forth, questions and answers, and valid questions and answers, then the supervisor will be more inclined to help you, to mentor you, um, to answer your questions genuinely. Um, throughout the conversation, I highly recommend that you keep eye contact with the supervisor. Again, you don't need to gaze at him or give him or her a threatening look, but you need to give them an engaging look. A look that feels neutral, a look that feels that you are genuinely asking for information versus uh, trying to frame the supervisor or make it look like it is his fault or her fault. If you feel, um, you know, that you are um, accommodated or uh, you always use the pronoun you, there is still a way to use it. But you have to be careful. When you frame the question, it should be neutral. It should like look like you are really genuinely asking. So next time when you instruct me to do X, Y, Z, is it okay to do that? You see, so you use the pronoun you, however you acknowledged the authority of the supervisor and you are asking uh, clarifying questions to obtain more information. If you frame it that way, it's still gonna look good. However, I still recommend, um, you know, technique number one, where you reference the action, not the person who did it. You can also use the same technique with coworkers. Uh, if there is a coworker who you don't get along uh, with very well, uh, you two are working together on a project, uh, he asked you to do something, you did it, and then he came back or she came back saying it was done, not done in a satisfactory manner. Rather than referencing that he asked you or she asked you to do this, Reference the work that is done and always make sure to uh, show that you are genuinely interested in the action itself, not the person who did it. Last but 
not least, I want you to use these techniques to cultivate relationships. So if you approach your supervisor with the perspective that he, she, you know, is going to hate you no matter what, he, she is going to see you as, uh, you know, incompetent no matter what you do or find fault with your work no matter what you do, then of course it's going to show in your vocabulary, it's going to show in your demeanor, it's going to show in everything you do for them. So you have always to come to the conversation with a genuine interest. That can be difficult for some people and again there is a technique for it. So that technique is to imagine that you are not talking to the supervisor or to that hostile co-worker but you are talking to a friend. Picture the friend, put their face on top of the face of the supervisor or the face of the uh, hostile co-worker. It's very important to uh, approach the conversation with a good demeanor, so to speak, uh, to achieve eye contact with the person you are talking to them. Um, I want you to think of eye contact and tone as a warm-up for the conversation, as a lead in to the conversation. Your mission, so to speak, is to engage the supervisor or engage the co-worker in the conversation. You see, to do that, you cannot look away. To do that, you cannot use an accusative tone. Now, some employees, unfortunately, decide to use that accusative tone to tell other co-workers that, hey, I challenged the supervisor. This is really not a good tactic. By the end of the day, that supervisor is going to evaluate you. By the end of the day, if you apply to another job, maybe someone will contact the supervisor to ask uh, about the quality of your work. So even though it is difficult, and believe me, I do that, I know that from first-hand experience, it's not easy to work with a supervisor who is um, mean, uh, um, unappreciative, or tasks you with uh, lots of things to do. Nevertheless, I want you to find mutual ground to cultivate any relationship aspect from that particular supervisor or that particular co-worker. I want you to perceive it as you are investing in yourself, as you are building your own legacy. So again, start the conversation with a good note, end it on a good note. Always sound genuine in the conversation, always sound interested in the work, uh, and always submit a good quality uh, work assignment. And again, when the situation gets hostile, uh, Reference the action taken, not who took them. And make it conversational, back and forth, back and forth. If you feel the supervisor is not in a good mood, don't approach him or her at that moment. Um, also, don't ambush them. For example, let's say you have something in mind, you need more guidance. Don't jump in to the supervisor office for questions. You can either shoot them an email, call them and leave a message and see if they'll get back to you and specify, I need your guidance regarding X, Y, Z. Should I take this action or should I take that action? If you feel the supervisor will get back uh, to you with a nasty comment, for example, he, she will say, you don't know uh, what's required of you. This is so basic. Uh, you don't need to ask about it. In this scenario, try to anticipate what uh, the supervisor will be looking for. If you are not sure, then offer variety of options. With each option, offer pros and cons and let the supervisor pick. Okay. So when you cannot be specific, be general, 
However, evaluate. Each course of action has pros and cons. Evaluate uh, these pros and cons and let the supervisor choose. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope I answered the question. If you have uh, any other questions, please uh, feel free to uh, um, write them down at the comment section. You can also go to my website, thelanguageofsuccess.net. Send me a question uh, via the contact form and I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful to my subscribers. Uh, until the next video, talk to you soon.